Hi guys, it's your boy Alvin Kennett and I'm back again for another YouTube video and before I go any further, I just want to say to remind you guys dearly to please subscribe to the channel like we have come such a long way we want you guys to keep on subscribing and like and share and comment if you don't like what I do like we need engagement whatsoever so um, I had a sit down with um, Andrew Patience she's an honor personality in just plateau state nigeria like she's awesome the voice is beyond and uh, we talked about uh, internet and social media so after now you'll be seeing the clip um like now a very good morning to you you're listening to the voice of reason unity 93.3 fm and thanks for joining us on this beautiful monday being the tethered day of january 2017 i am your host patience andrew and this is entrepreneurship and you well in the program today we will be looking at the role of the internet in business promotion the benefits and how entrepreneurs can explore these to make um, exceptional profit for their businesses an innovative idea can go a long way toward creating a successful business but ultimately a business can't be profitable unless it can convince consumers to buy the internet is a channel that businesses can use to advertise, connect with customers and make sales. The right internet strategy can play a significant part in the successful marketing and sales of products. Well, the Nigerian Communication Commission NCC last week disclosed to the news agency of Nigeria that the number of internet users in Nigeria's telecommunications network declined to um, 91,910,341 in December 2016. Analysts posit that um, the decline in the use of the internet shows that there are urgent need for stakeholders in the industry to sensitize the people on the potentials of the internet usage. Um, Mr. Sheya Adebayo, who is a communication consultant based in Lagos, said um, that the Nigerian government um, network service providers and other relevant stakeholders should put effort in and into ensuring that Nigerians are encouraged to embrace the use of the internet. He explained that the need is to ensure that other countries do not leave the nation behind in the global technology revolution, while others call on the government to subsidize internet usage. Well, to help us out today on the discussion on the role of the internet in business promotion is no other person. But a very popular um, album, Kenneth, who is a student of the University of Jaws and a blogger who blogs about technology and fashion. Good morning, Kenneth. Yeah, good morning. It's nice to have you. It's nice to, same here, <laughs> to talk with you <laughs> All right. on this topic. Yeah, we know that you're a blogger and you're doing um, so much work as regards blogging about things happening in the country, uh, technology. Uh, and the whole lot and then that's why we're here this morning to tell for you to tell us how um, important it is to make very good use of the internet especially for business um, people so to start a discussion could you tell us what the internet is all about okay basically the internet is just a uh, multi-connection of like different computers together or having the same link they're basically multi-connections of computers all around the world so you have access to different computers that have different information on them. Okay. And now we, we've seen that it seems um, to, some, to a great extent the world, of course, has become a global village and the internet seems to be one spot where you find almost everybody yeah. in the world doing one or two things. Now, in relation to business, what role do you think the internet plays in business promotion? Okay. In this modern world, um, the internet plays a lot a lot of rules because of you can now sit at home and have the sales of like 10 million dollars in merchandise you can do your business you can basically run your company from your house and that's all thanks to internet you can talk with um, your sales manager in France or in Europe but that's um, the benefit of um, internet and basically we're going to be like streamlining down to like social media when it comes to internet because of social media is um, like say the power, the power holder when it comes to um, business, um, business being successful on the internet, because if you have to build your brand on social media apart from having physical um, brick and mortar stores, so you need a brand on social media where people can have access to it because it's easier to see Gucci's latest collection on Instagram than for you to book a flight to Paris to go to their store. So that's um, the rules 
social media is playing um, um, with the success of business on internet. And then I've also realized that um, it's people find it a lot um, difficult to go to websites even sometimes to <laughs> take a look at um, goods and services. But like you said, it is much more easier on the social media. Yeah. Now even today's there's certain strategies that a business person needs to consider put in mind in trying to promote his or her brand. Can you tell us what the strategies are and how entrepreneurs can explore some of this? Um, internet strategies to grow your businesses. Okay, the strategies now that we use is basically you have, let's say, we start with the four basic social media platforms we have now, and that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So for now, like I was talking with somebody, um, be, here in Plateau, you don't find a lot of internet users going to Twitter to talk. You get most of them on Facebook. So if you are trying to push a product across to, um, let's say, Plateau um, citizens, and you're using Twitter, you're not going to make any sales because of plateau people don't participate on Twitter more. But thanks to just on fire hash, um, hashtag that trended yesterday, it's packing some new um, activities there. But you find them more on Facebook. So if I was consulting for a client, I'll tell you to do more on Facebook than let's say Twitter, I mean Instagram, than before Twitter. So these are things you need to carry. You need to analyze um, where your audience are because if you don't know where your audience are, um, then you can sell the product because that's the first thing you need to do and that's um, that's with the help of social media before you have to have let's say up to 50 salespeople that will work, um, work around terminals get up you to sell this product but with um, Twitter or social medias um, you can just do all this um, easier Okay. Basically, yeah. Now we've seen a, de uh, a drastic decline in the usage of internet in the country in yeah. um, 2016 and let's not forget that uh, we say that a chunk of the percentage that drives the Nigerian economy are yeah. SMEs. And these are people who you find on a daily basis on the road. And then I know I've, 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 I've asked um, uh, people who are experts in technology yeah. in this program if we should have every business on the internet. And the answer has been yes. But the truth is not all businesses are on the internet. And then due to the decline also, what do you have to say about SMEs, especially those at the micro level? Okay, in Nigeria, not all businesses are on the internet, but in Western developed countries, you see them trying to get their business on the internet. Why is it not um, the adverse effects here in Nigeria? Is because people are not still educated about um, the internet, basically. Mm -hmm. Like our computer literacy in Nigeria is still quite low. Not everybody knows how to operate the email, talk more of open the Facebook account. For example, now, the hardest thing to do right now is to figure out how to use Snapchat. Uh -huh. But that's like the problem. So um, we're trying to organize a, an event, that is social media week, just where people can come and be educated about all these stuff better. And that will like help them like, say, improve uh, the business scene on social media more here uh, in Nigeria or especially on the plateau. Okay. As a blogger who has been blogging for different brands for years, yeah. what do you have to say? What What's people's response in terms of business promotion on blogs and other social media platforms? Okay. Um, some of the brands I've met, um, the owners are quite educated. So the first thing they tell you is that they have their own Twitter page or Instagram page. but but some others will tell you oh we welcome this idea we want to have our business there because they haven't done it before mm -hmm. so that's a that's different from someone who has um who has a business profile on social media networks but then again if you have the social me um, profiles on the social media networks you have to know how to optimize them to get the maximum reach like um you can't just start posting pictures on instagram and be getting 60 something likes and you're not making any sales. So you have to do something to tweak that up. So that's where you employ the users of, the user of um, social media strategies, where they come to strategize on how to have effective um, reach using your profile. So instead of you um, doing external campaigns, you now, um, you now do in-house media campaigns, whereby, like Coca-Cola, for example, now, all of them are trying to set up their own brand. They have their own Twitter page. They have like over a million followers. But you still see them um, doing more campaigns with other people. So it's when they have their own footing, they know that they can also do with other people, but they still need them. So it's 
it still goes back and forth when it comes to media campaigns and running a successful campaign for a business. It still needs collaboration, but first of all, you have to um, build up your own profile uh, by yourself, or you get somebody who knows about it well to do it for you, so that you get maximum reach and maximum sales um, for your merchandise or products. Okay. Thank you so much. It's still Unity 93.5 from The Voice of Reason and we're here on Entrepreneurship and You this morning with me, Patience Andrew. And we've been looking at the role of the internet in business promotion. And my guest in the studio has been Mr. Awam Kenneth, who is a student with the University of Jazz and I must say one of the popular blo um, bloggers we have in yeah. Plateau State. Well, in case you want to join the, in the conversation this morning and you have a question for Mr. Kenneth, all you need to do is send us a text message on 080-8704-9704. I'll take that again, 080-8704-9704. Now, um, just before we go on a music break, Mr. Kenneth, internet subscription in Nigeria is pretty, pretty high. Not to say we have um, the whole issue of power, yeah. especially what, what we're experiencing recently. You see people have to go to wherever you're going to with your charges because yeah. the light has been really scarce. What do you have to say about the the, the, the increase in the, not like the, it's, it's been there it has always been there yeah. it's not so cheap to have internet on your phones and um, have good use of that and then with the power issue what do you have to say about this um i think it's high time nigerians do something about it because of already we have um foreign well, i say investors or foreign media coming in to um grab um the market share nigeria has you hear of facebook trying to give free internet now, if Facebook is giving Nigeria free internet, know that something is collecting something from the side because nobody does anything for free. Mm -hmm. So I think it's high time Nigeria do something about their internet um, capacity, whereby because of we have the thing about Nigeria internet is that most of our users are mobile, so it's not it's not desktop, it's not like um, laptops or desktop, mm -hmm. which is um, what the um, Western countries have. So and people want mobile like. Mo Companies want mobile platforms because it's more easy and accessible and you get more users to see um, what you're doing. So I think it's it's a very big market, but we just need Nigerian Nigerian citizens to invest, n not foreign organizations. Because we have a lot of foreign uh, organizations investing in our, um, like in the blog fair. Um, like most five, the top five blogs now in Nigeria have been owned by foreign organizations true investment so i think it's high time we wake up and especially for data it's better if you instead of increasing it um uh, the tariff it's better to reduce it because you get more engagement you see more engagement on youtube twitter and this will help businesses a lot uh in the sense that more people will be connected and more people get the chance to see what you're selling and like for example the likes of the kardashians how are they able to sell um over ten thousand stocks of merchandise in one minute. It's, then, it's thanks to the internet they have there and it's fast and reliable. And mm. people are able to like do businesses. So imagine if you were like selling a slippers, you have like, let's say 50,000 pairs, and you just go on the internet with your brand and say, I have the slippers, blah, blah, you put your price tag and everything. And within 30 seconds, it's sold out. Isn't that like a world you want to live in? So I think mm. it's high time we start investing in our internet. Mm. Um, you were talking to private investors, but also I think the government needs to pay keen attention to this. Yeah. We need to have cheaper um, data rates, so especially for businesses um, to thrive in the country. Um, okay, we have a text message here, um, and this one says that great, uh, great show, educative topic, and interesting guest. This is from Jesus Native. <laughs> That's uh, Mr. Johnson. All right, thank you so much, Johnson, for that um, text message. Again, the number you. is 080-8704-9704. Tell us what you think. How can business people grow their platforms or grow their brands using um, the internet? We'll be right back after this break. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you um, got a few stuff about it. Um, ideas one or two from there and I hope you don't kill me on the definition of internet but that's what I have to do for now or that's what I got for now and remember to subscribe to the channel please love you peace how you feel in my kitchen <laughs>